All right, guys, welcome back. So we're gonna make that caterpillar that I still haven't found him. I don't know where he went, but we're gonna make one. So what we have is a green piece of paper, a red piece of paper, a glue stick or glue if that's what you have at home, a marker, and a scissor, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our green piece of paper and we're gonna draw a line just a little bit over, just a little bit, maybe about the size of your pinky from one edge to the other. And we'll start at the bottom and we'll draw it straight up to the top. If you think you need a little bit of help with this, ask whoever you are with right now and they'll be able to help you. And also with the next part, with the next part, we are going to just fold just a little bit the other side of the paper. And if you don't think you can do it, it's okay. Ask whoever you're with and they can help you. It'll just make a part that we're gonna do later a little bit easier. Okay? So you see how I folded it? Look, you see it's a little bit folded on the edge and we'll just fold that down. And now we're gonna take our scissor. Remember you put your thumb in the little hole and you put your fingers in the other hole and you hold it with your fingers on the bottom, like that. Your thumb is on the top and your fingers are on the bottom. So this is the important part, guys. We're gonna cut from this end to the other end, but we're gonna stop at the line, okay? We're not gonna cut all the way across. We're gonna stop at the line, okay? So we can cut as many lines as you want. And then you see how I stop right at the line. And then I come back and I'm gonna cut again. You can make these sections big, little, thin, fat, however, as long as you stop at the line. So now I'm on number three. But like I said, you can make as many as you want. Just make sure you stop at the line, otherwise a caterpillar is gonna have a problem. I'm making all the little strips for my caterpillar's body. I think I can cut maybe one more. Okay, now I have a whole bunch of little strips, you see? So what I'm gonna do, the reason why we folded the edge over here before is because that's where you're gonna put the glue. You're gonna put the glue on the folded side up of the edge. So I'll take my glue stick. Remember, if you don't have any glue, you just have to twist it and it'll go up or down. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue on the folded edge of the caterpillar's line. And then I'm gonna fold it and make a little loop. And then it'll end up looking like a circle. 
and you can do that with all of your other strips for your caterpillar and turn them all into little loops. Make sure you press down when you loop it around to the other side so the glue sticks to the other side of the paper. caterpillar need? What does he need? What do you think we could make for him? I think that he could use a face. So I'm going to draw what I think would be a nice face for a caterpillar and you can draw whatever you want. You can have whoever's with you to help you out, but I'm gonna draw whatever I think would be a nice face for my caterpillar. I think that I'm gonna draw a circle. And I think he could use a set of eyes. And, hmm, how do you think your caterpillar is feeling today? I think my caterpillar is happy. I'm going to give him a nice smiley face. Right. So now we're going to cut out the face of our caterpillar. A nice round circle. Okay. And now we'll take the body of our caterpillar and I think that we can just glue his face right in here. Or, you know what, we can put We'll put his face on one side. I think that we can put his face onto one side of our caterpillar body. For his face, I'll put it right there. Wherever you think would work for our caterpillar. Now we have a happy little caterpillar. Now, if you want to, we could make our caterpillar a set of antenna. You know what antenna are? I'm going to show you on the book 
what I'm talking about. The caterpillar has two little pointy things on his head that are called antenna. That's how he smells and that's how he feels what's going on around him. So no sense wasting another piece of paper. I'm just going to cut two little antenna for our caterpillar friend. And you can cut them however you like. two little pointy things for my caterpillar's antenna. And I'll put some glue on them as well. And I'll stick them onto my caterpillar's head. Ta-da! I would like to see, if you guys want, if um, your parents want to, I would love to see pictures of your caterpillars that you made today and even your trees that you made yesterday. Um, if your parents can send them to me on the email, I would absolutely love to see a picture of the stuff that you guys have made with me today and yesterday. And I'm gonna send you guys more videos to come. You'll expect, you can expect a video from me every day that we would have been at school. Okay, guys? Oh, that about does it for me. This is my caterpillar. And I will see you guys soon, I hope. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.